gonna be okay. It's the FNAF show with Daco. <laughs> that was that, that was amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for letting me do your intro. <laughs> it's okay. We're straight into it, guys. This is the FNAF show episode seven. Woo! I, I think. Today, we have a very special guest. This is Becky Shrimpton, the voice actor of Bon Bon in Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location. Hi, everybody. <laughs> How are you? How are you doing? I am well, thank you. Thank you so much for having me on the show. I've uh, I've got a little bit of a cold, so I'm going to be drinking coffee. Don't mind me. I'm very professional. It's like you're Jimmy Kimmel. And, uh, you know, I'm sitting on your couch and we're having this little, like, chat back and forth. And I'm like, well, Jocko, everything's <laughs> doing great. Thank you so much for asking. <laughs> uh, I, I appreciate that compliment. Jimmy Kimmel. Jimmy Kimmel on the good. FNAF show. Never had that before. Da Hobbinator asked, how did you get into voice acting? Oh, Da Hobbinator. Very good question. Okay, uh, I am uh, an actor of all ilks, so I actually started out as a child actor. I was on a kid's show called Be Alert Bert, teaching kids about safety things like don't put your uh, don't put your hands on the oven, you know, because it's hot. Um, things <laughs> things like that. Uh, and then I went to uh, I went to theater school, and I was doing theater for a really long time. And then I started doing on camera stuff, and uh, I decided that eighteen hour days weren't really something that I enjoyed. 18 hours. 18 hours is your standard day when you're doing on camera and, and oh, film God. and television kind of stuff. It's a long day. Mm -hmm. And uh, I went, you know what? I really love um, making characters and making new fun things, uh, as I know you do as well, Daco. Hello. <laughs> um, <laughs> Exactly. And uh, and so I just wanted to, to start exploring with one facet of myself, and, and that specifically was my voice. And I think Kellen, on the first episode of your show, talked about how much harder and how much more of a challenge he finds voice acting than on-camera acting. And he's entirely correct. It's a whole different skill set. It's a whole different thing because you don't have your beautiful you know, face <laughs> and your hands and everything else to, to get involved with. So, yeah, that's how I got into it. Thanks for asking. That's cool. Um... Yeah, I understand that as well. I've been asked to do um, some voices for some games in the past, and it's completely different because, like, I just want to perfect it, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll send you one right now. I'll play it on the video, what I did. I actually did um, a voice for some on a game called Theodore, and it was a rabbit as well, ironically. Oh, there we go. I'm going to send it you right now. Here we go. Hi, I'm Tio. It's Tio. <laughs> All three kids. Hey, watch it. What are you doing? Hey, Tio. I know a secret no one else knows about this game. Just I know a secret tickets. no one else knows about this game. You can win unlimited tickets. <laughs> That's so good. Okay, who cast you in a role where you're evil? Because, Daco, you are the sweetest human being alive. Hey, I, I said in yes uh, last week's podcast that I love playing evil characters. What is it about it that speaks to you? Because, like, you're wonderful. I just, I don't know, I just like being bad. In, I like, because, you know, like, people think I'm nice and stuff all the time. I, I am nice, obviously, but like I like like being something different, you know, the opposite, and acting like a nasty person. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. So when you're doing the voices, how do you get your body into it? Like, what do you do? Like, if I was doing your evil characters, I'd be doing the little hands all up in my face and very excited. See, like... I I didn't do that. That's what I need to do. I need to start doing that because I've I've watched them. Um, documentaries of people who do like Toy Story and stuff and they're like full on like doing all this and like you know getting into it and I was just like this Hi I'm Tio <laughs> like all that do you know what I mean and it's still really good, but that's what makes it fun. Because like the more you, the more you shape your body, obviously the air is going to move through you differently, which is going to affect how you feel. So when you scrunch up your face really good, you start getting all of the fun kind of things. Like if you watch Kellen, Kellen is so freaking good, and I'm sure your audience is are all big Kellen fans. Um, 
when he does voices, he immediately, his whole body gets into it. His whole thing changes. Heather Masters does the same thing. If you watch, I mean, she's sweet as pie as well. Um, but she starts to pull herself up more when she plays baby. And it's, again, it's the whole physicality and the whole change. So when you're doing these evil voices and you're getting right in the microphone, you're, you're kind of doing the same thing. It's just adding that next level. But Man, that was really good. <laughs> <laughs> it, I basically just copied you, but you know. What is an eviler version of Bon Bon? Because Bon Bon, I mean Bon Bon 2, Bon Bon self is not totally evil, but Bon Bon's pretty evil. <laughs> I know, I know. I don't know. When I'm trying to <laughs> When I'm trying to explain to people the game who've never seen it before, because inevitably being a voice actor, one of the questions you could ask is, Oh, what have you been in that I've heard of? And uh, the answer to that, of course, is you know, Five Nights at Freddy's is one of my big ones. I'm on a few other kids' shows, things like that. But unless people have like little, little kids, they probably haven't heard of them. But uh, this one, um, trying to explain to someone who's never played Five Nights at Freddy's before what Five Nights is, is just great. It's like, so there's these animatronics. Yeah, I get that all the time as well. So when people say, um, so what, what games do you do about on your YouTube? I say Five Nights at Freddy's and like, what? What's that about? Because not many people around where I live, my age, don't really know about it. Um, so I just say, well, um, there's a man who kills kids and shoves their bodies <laughs> in animatronic uh, suits. And then they get possessed and then they try and kill you each night. So Obviously. Yeah, it, it's yeah. that simple, really. Yeah. <laughs> but then their faces go like this. <laughs> Hold on, you do what now? <laughs> and that this is a very popular game for young teenagers? Yeah, totally. And it's it's the best. And it's funny because I actually really love horror films. Like, I think they're so much fun. I actually tend to work with them on in the background. Um, I clean my apartment watching Alien because it's a good reminder to make sure to, like, check the corners really, really well. Um, but it, when with this one, it just disturbed me so deeply and I think that speaks to the genius of Scott obviously because how do you take something so simple but like just ratchet up the tension and make sure that like it, everything is just clean 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 so that you you're playing this thing where like nothing is happening but you know something's gonna happen very soon and there's no blood and there's no guts there's just the threat of blood and guts and it's great it's crazy it's been four years as well <laughs> nearly four years and it's still like really strong and popular it's crazy yeah. so you did that you did me as an impersonation well you did a bon bon impersonation because obviously my voice is much lower than bon bon but uh i hear you do just a regular bon bon voice on the show all the time can i hear a little bit of that um i, I need a wee uh, toilet break I'll, I'll be back i'll be back in a second i will i will okay <laughs> can i get uh Calm down, this is Bon Bon's friend, Bonnet. Calm down, this is Bon Bon's friend, Bonnet. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> That's really good, Daco. Good work. <laughs> Thank you. No worries. I'm very impressed. <laughs> so then when you play with it, when you modulate it for, for doing something like that, do you just throw a filter on it? Um, the one what the, t the TO tests. The 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 yes. one what I sent earlier, yeah. Sent I edited it to make it more robotic, yeah. So I there's some Amazing. effects on Adobe Audition and to make it more robotic and echo as well, reverb and stuff like that. To make the atmosphere in and stuff, yeah. So Daco, I know you're supposed to be interviewing me, but I have to ask you this question. If you were to have your ideal cartoon character that you want to be known for, what would this character be like? Can you describe them to me? Oh, that is hard. I know, that is I know. really hard because I'd love to be loads of different characters. Um, I don't know. I'd, I think I'd be a, a villain again, but I'd be yep. like a. Oh, I think I'd be like. Um, have you watched Adventure Time? Oh, of course I have. Yes. Um, the, the Lich King. I'd be like. Yeah. The, I'd be like a ske massive skeleton, evil with flaming red eyes and a scythe and I'd be like Hello It's me 
What would my name be? I've got to be like a skeleton bone character. What 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 villain would be called though? Let's get a name. Well, Skeletor is obviously taken, so we can't do Skeletor, and so is Jack Skeleton, the Skellington. So I think really going on. Uh, what about um, uh, his boneliness, King Femur? <laughs> oh God, <laughs> King Femur. Okay, King Femur, <laughs> or King Scapula. I like King Scapula Ooh, too. King Scapula, I like that. That's pretty good. I think so. Hey, fan art. There you go. There you go, Twitter. There you go, YouTube. There's your fan art challenge is King Scapula. All right. Then if you get to be King Scapula, then I want to be like your little uh, your little toady sort of minion. So I want a hunch and I want uh, like an eye patch and like a big hood and like all this like red hair with like gray streaks coming out of it because, you know, I've got to match your red eyes. And then I want to sort of talk like this and she's got a little bit of a sinus problem. And, you know, she has problems controlling the level of her voice that's what i want yeah to okay yeah so what, what's 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 my character's name you get you get to do this oh god so it's um hmm S skelly skelly oh i like skelly Sc <laughs> scapula and skelly <laughs> yes yes exactly good. i love it it's a female so ellie and skeleton yeah. so i thought of skelly so she's skelly it's beautiful i love it <laughs> but the eye patch make is very it happen important. guys yay gotta do it now challenge issued speaking of challenge who's got a who else has a question for me holly anatube asked have you ever played any of the fnaf games before Hi, Holly. Uh, yes, I totally have. I haven't played the new one yet because I haven't had time, unfortunately. I've been very busy. But of course, I've played my version and I watched your playthrough because um, I could not figure out how to do it to save my life. <laughs> I was like, okay, so I'm under the desk and now I have to like, no, no, something is pulling. This isn't good. You don't let this thing pull open. And um, yeah, so I played that one and I tried to play the first one when the first one came out, but I just found it a little too creepy for my, <laughs> for my thing. I was like, because I I, I, the only time I'm very busy and I'm very busy I'm very busy and important Daco don't you know and uh, so the only time I really have to like play games or unwind is usually right before I go to bed terrible plan <laughs> to play this game right before you go to bed so I tried it a little bit and it just yeah it just freaked me out a little too much yeah um I wouldn't play it on my own no like the only re like the only reason why I played the first for now almost four years ago was in a live stream on Twitch and um, I would have not played it alone in my office just <laughs> casually I only play horror games um, on my YouTube I never play them as a hobby like I like I love horror games obviously because I love recording them I love recording my reactions and stuff and well you have such great reaction such face like your <laughs> is always my favourite I love it yeah, and I love seeing people like react to me, what like playing horror games. But I don't play them alone, honestly. Any <laughs> horror game, any horror game that I play casually, it needs to be multiplayer because I need to be with someone playing with me, so I feel more comfortable. Always, honestly, when I was little and I used to play a game called Left 4 Dead. Um, oh man! I always used to wait for people to join the game because I never used to go out of the safe room on my own, honestly. <laughs> so what did you do? Is there is there a solitaire feature, like a solitaire mini game that you can just sit in the room and play solitaire by yourself, slowly waiting for the zombies to come? People joined quite quickly to help, <laughs> so. Um, but I, I did play one game casually on my own, which was Dead Space. Oh, and, man. Oh, God. Playing that on my own was horrible. Yeah. I did beat it, though. I, I managed to get through it, but it was very hard to force myself to play it. Oh, that's um, terrifying. I know, I know. Uh, there was one game I was watching, I'm not going to promote other YouTubers on your YouTube show, <laughs> but I was watching one guy play this thing where like it's a an iPhone game and there's a thing in it where it uses your camera and like figures out where the doors and windows are and then superimposes things into them. So like things jump out at you from like the doors or the windows, but you play it with your headphones in, in the dark, watching things through your iPhone. And I was like, why would you do that? yourself your home is your safe place <laughs> this is not it, good it's the same with vr as well um vr is like 10 times worse than playing on the screen and i, I played a zombie uh. game on my own not recording um, and it was horrible i had to get off it if i was recording <laughs> it would have been better i feel more comfortable but while recording for some reason because i feel like i've got 
some comfort. Like, people are going to watch it, but when I'm playing on my own, I can't handle it. Nope, totally ever. fair. <laughs> but I can watch horror films on my own, like, all the time. Yeah. I, I think it's because with games, you're in control. So, you, yeah. you like, if you screw up, then you're going to see the consequence of a jump scare or something. Totally. Now, I am very, very old, and so I have... Clearly, I'm 92. And so, I uh, I was playing this game when I was younger called Silent Hill 2. You guys must know the Silent Hill Ah, Hill yes, we know Silent Hill, yeah. Know. Okay, yeah. great. Um, and I just remember sitting there playing with my little sister and the two of us being like, no, you need to play, no, you need to play, because there's no... Um, uh, people who haven't played it, there's no health gauge bar. It's just like your your controller vibrates more and more as your heartbeat gets gets worse. And like, and there's no sound. There's no soundtrack. It's just like occasionally you just hear the <laughs> the zombies get closer. It's the worst. <laughs> Talking about Scott and atmosphere, right? It's totally that. Mm -hmm. And you're like, yeah, it oh, is. <laughs> Because when you're in the office, you hear noises from your left to right. Oh, God, they're getting closer. Horrible. <laughs> <laughs> yep, not what you signed up for. I know. Dr. G underscore 14 asked, favorite FNAF character? Dr. G. Dr. G. Uh, you know what? I think I love Chica just because I love the fact that it's a bird with teeth. <laughs> and there's very little I find more terrifying than a bird with teeth. <laughs> Because they're they're already very mean. I actually have a, a mild fear of swans. It's not irrational or anything. It's just they're very vicious and very mean. They're terrifying. Well, you're from the UK. You understand the danger of swans. I don't know why someone has not used a trained swan to assassinate a royal family member any time in history. I'm very surprised. Um, but uh, but yeah, I, I uh, Chica Chica scares the crap out of me. I love Chica. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Cheek is pretty creepy, especially in FNAF 1. Yeah. Um, there's one specific screenshot, which I'll show up now, which always has terrified me. It's when she's next to the bathrooms and she's looking up at the camera. It's probably the most spookiest uh, image on the FNAF 1 game for me. Mm -hmm. um, but I miss Chica. We haven't really had Chica recently. We should bring her back. Yeah, Scott, Scott. So, uh, Scott, I'd love to come play Chica if you've if you've got time. I, uh, I I've got a I've got some character voice ideas. We could be talking through. It'd be great. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna. This is my pitch. So, Scott, <laughs> I could do a great Chica. Just give me a call. I love her. She's awesome. Yeah. Um, I think with the ultimate custom night, he's doing fun time Chicas in it. So yeah, that'd nice. be cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ever at Prince Free. How do you feel being a part of a big community? Everett Prince, what a wonderful and thoughtful question you have. Um, honestly, this has been so incredibly rewarding and wonderful, and I think anyone who's part of the FNAF community can totally attest to how welcoming and charming and funny and lovely and, like, fairly devoid of trolls the community is. Like, no one's... No one's a jerk, and that's that's really remarkable and really lovely. And um, especially when I when the game dropped, and all of a sudden I had all these Twitter followers who uh, were being incredible and sending. Um, lovely congratulation wishes and even then watching people doing uh imitations of my voice and all the cool fan videos that started popping out those were amazing and so being part of a community that again is lovely but creative and the incredible things these people make it's uh it's so rewarding and enriching and surprising and wonderful i cannot i cannot explain how grateful i am yeah i completely agree with that um, the FNAF community I've been a part with for, again, ne nearly four years, so um, I've basically seen, like, the community, like, because the, the community was huge at first, and there was a lot of trolls, and um, people who were, like, hating on the game, saying, mm. you know... This is stupid, yeah, and whatever, yeah, stupid. who didn't, who didn't da, 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 da. get it, or, you know... Yeah, um, and, you know, because I've done FNAF on the channel, for a while, you get the U the YouTube comments saying exactly that, you know, uh, you milk in this game, or Scott's this and this and this, uh, the fan base is this and this and this. But over time, those haters have gone, and it, we're literally just left with the same friendly community now. And, you know, it's just nice to see all the charity streams that we do and you being a part of the charity streams and how much money we've raised to just be solely based on this game. 
is crazy and like you said how creative people are I've seen loads of fan arts, fan games uh, everything and it's insane how just one small indie game can make like the big bang like a big bang how much it's created do you know what I mean Totally, and I think one of my one of my favorites that I saw was the one where um, Funtime Freddy uh, shoots off Bon Bon and it smacks into the wall, and I was like, Bon Bon, go get him! And he just like smacks right. And I was like, okay, that's really good, good work, guys. <laughs> yeah, it, it's great. But again, they don't. The other thing is so great about the community is they don't take themselves too seriously. Like they're totally willing to like play with it and make fun of the characters and, and make fun of each other a little bit. Um, Daco, can I ask you a question? Okay. okay. How do you handle the haters? So like you're talking about getting like weird trolls and things on your stuff. How do you how do you deal with that? I ignore it. Good work. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, as simple as that. Um, when I first started YouTube, and I, yeah. you know, y y it's something you get used to. Because um, when I first started, I got uh, haters. Obviously, everybody does uh, uh, from time to time. You, you, you know, it does affect you a little bit. You're like, oh, what am I doing wrong? What's this and this and this? But you start to learn that they're just trolling. They just want the attention. They want you to reply back saying, shut up, blah blah blah. But you just ignore them. It's honestly that simple. That's really great advice. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, you, I, I, I sometimes reply, but only when I'm feeling sassy. <laughs> oh, Daco, you know you feel sassy all the time. No one can wear a Chewbacca hoodie and not feel sassy. <laughs> yeah, only on my Chewbacca onesie days I feel sassy, so... Remember that, guys. <laughs> it's on. Well, I was just saying earlier before we started the stream, I feel like I have a co pilot. So it's like, yeah, I'm doing good. This is great. <laughs> Jelena asked, weird question. So there's a good start. How would you feel great. if you'd wake up one day, but you're not in your bed or even yourself, but you're Bon Bon? <laughs> How would you feel and what would you do if you just woke up one day as Bon Bon? <laughs> Jelena, can we be friends? <laughs> because that is such a again, this could speak to the community. How great are these people and their creativity? That's so much fun. Um, okay, first and foremost, uh, I think I, I really love my legs. I'm a runner. <laughs> and so and I do circus, I do aerial, and so not having my legs would be incredibly challenging. So that would be the first thing I would think of as Bon Bon. Um, I saw on one of the threads once someone was like, How does Bon Bon move around? Bon Bon doesn't have legs. Has she just he or she, uh, there's a whole gender thing, but uh, have they just greased themselves up with exotic butters? <laughs> and I was like, that's pretty good. Well done. Um, but yeah, I think that would be the first thing was I'd be like, where's my legs? Um, and then the next thing would be like, okay, well, at least I'm a sharp dresser because, you know, bow ties are very cool. Uh, but then I think the hardest thing to deal with would be the ears because I also really enjoy hats. So I would have to alter all of my hats to accommodate my ears. So that's... Yeah, you'd have to like cut two holes in at the top of your hats to put it up. Exactly. And also, I am nobody's sidekick, as I'm sure you've noticed. So the idea of being Fun Time Freddy's sidekick makes me feel, mm, no, then I'd have to start taking over the show. That's what would happen. Yeah, instead of waking up just on your own, you'd wake up and then you'd look, you'd be like, ah, and then look to your left and you'd see Fun Time Freddy there just like, Hi. You'd have to just do what every <laughs> fifth time Freddy does because you'd be attached to his attached to his arm unless you literally just pulled yourself off and, off and escaped. <laughs> Which I would inevitably and I'd just be on my merry little way <laughs> the whole time be like, this is now a solo act, Freddy, here I go. Or more like, this is now a solo act, Freddy, here I go. <laughs> like, it'll be more of that. <laughs> oh, God. Cringe meme boy asked, do your deepest voice possible and your highest voice possible. Okay, do you want to go first? Do you want me to warm up? Warm up? So you can take a second to like open your channels, Darko. Shall I go first? <laughs> okay. <laughs> was that, that was your, my warm up. Was that your Sia impersonation? No, that was my warm up. That was your warm up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm like, that sounded like Sia. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so here's my deepest voice. Hello. Hello, how are you? Yes. <laughs> that's my that's my deepest voice. Hey, my highest voice. It's about up there. That's about that's about as high as I can go. 
Wow. That was high. Yeah. <laughs> it was okay. Right, let me just cheat. Let me just cheat and grab this helium balloon under my desk, <laughs> which I've been keeping for this moment. You got all the questions in advance. You're, <laughs> you were able to prep. I didn't know you were a prop comic, Daco. Well done. <laughs> that was terrifying. <laughs> I liked that very much. Good work. It almost sounded like, you know, those drones, like those those droney chants of like the monks and stuff. I'm like, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah. good. Okay, and hi. Hi, yeah. <sighs> <laughs> okay, that was your Mariah Carey impersonation. <laughs> good work. <laughs> okay, I think I think we've answered that question or that challenge. That was a challenge. Good challenge. Cringe meme boy? MG Molly asked, did you do Bonnet's giggle in custom night? Uh, I did. It's just taken from my original stuff. So the, the bonnet and the bonnet and the bonbon. Um, so that is me doing that. <laughs> but then, of course, there's just like a filter put onto it and an alteration. So yeah, that's me. Ah, cool. So you're both then. I am, I am So I'm not bonnet, I'm not bonnet then. You lied to me. <laughs> it's all about the beautiful pink bunny, I love the pink bunny. Okay, Marble Tarble asks, how do you feel living with Funtime Freddy? You know what, he just keeps talking about birthday boys, and we don't know enough people for there to be a birthday every single day, so that's getting a bit much. And you know, when I just have to jump out at people, that's really the only time I get to eat, because I gotta just like tear their faces off and enjoy them. Ah, so I find parts of it challenging. However, the one thing I do have to say is that I'm always nice and warm because, you know, I'm, I'm all uh, I'm all cuddly with him and that's all good. And he's very fuzzy. He's a great cuddler, that Freddy. <laughs> Jim Pooya. Okay. Jim Pooya asked, how did you come up with the voice of Bon Bon? Jim Pooya. Is that how it's meant to be pronounced? Okay, I like the intonation. Ooh, yeah. Uh, cool. So the voice of Bon Bon, uh, I have like a little girl voice that I do and the, the audition listing and the audition notice was for a cute little bunny and I was like, oh, I know what a cute little bunny. This is what a cute little bunny sounds like, right? So I sent in that audition and Scott was like, I like it very much, but let's, uh, you know, let's, can we make it a little more, you know, evil? Like, can you bring it a little creepier? And I was like, yeah, sure. I can, I can bring it creepier. Right. So it was, it was that. So yeah, that's, that's how I came up with the voice was, it's just a stock voice, um, that I'm really good at. And that, and when you're really good at a voice and you should be able to do this for any of those of you who want to be voice actors, get really good at one voice in one segment and be able to like age it up, age it down, play with the volume, um, make it, make it creepier, make it more fun. Right. Like figure, figure out how to, how to play with it right and then eventually someone will pay you <laughs> some people are asking as well and um, when you do bonbon's voice does it hurt your throat does it strain your voice or anything like that no and if it's hurting your voice and hurting your throats again here kids solid tip for voiceover actors if it's hurting your throat or hurting your voice uh don't do it it's that simple you're uh for me my voice is everything um, obviously it's, it's how I make my living. And so, uh, I don't do voices that hurt my throat. Um, a lot of people don't know that when you're doing voiceover, especially if you're doing an animation or a cartoon or something, you're doing it for three to five hours at a time. So if you can't maintain that voice for three to five hours, you don't, don't do it. Like you're not, and you're going to have to maintain and do that voice for hopefully what will be multiple seasons, multiple games. So yeah, if it's hurting you, you're not gonna be able to maintain it. So just just don't do it and don't don't play with that. That guy really serious. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> just like, Here, just pro, pro safety tip, kids. <laughs> well, this one's interesting. Um, da Michael asked, there was one this location custom night line where at the end Bonnet says, "Take me with you." Oh, was that you? No, I didn't say that. That was not me. Okay, because people at the end of custom night, people someone says, "Take me with you," but we've never known what character says that. So it's either Bonnet um, or uh, the uh, the Minarina mm. or the Biddy Babs, but we've never known who it is. Interesting. Yeah, because it's one of the high pitch ones, right? It's I can I can confirm that that was not in the lines I was given to read. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's not bonnet then. It's not bonnet. No. Okay. It may be. I just didn't voice it. <laughs> so it's got to be one of the bitty, bitty babs, or yeah. Okay. Grayson asked, "What is your favorite line that you did for Bon Bon?" Oh man. You know what? I think the one I like the most, just because it's my own personal mantra, uh, is everything is okay. Uh, yeah, I really. It's fun to say. It's got that nice little glide at the end. Give it a go, Daco. See, you'll see how good it feels. Give it a try. Uh, oh God. Okay. <laughs> Everything will be okay. <laughs> that was that was beautiful. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna equalize that up for you, and <laughs> we'll okay, fix it in post. Then, we're gonna fix it in post. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me uh, change my settings for a sec. I didn't mean that. Um, okay. Everything will be okay. There you go. That's pretty good. <laughs> It's hard to do it. Melora or Luna Gaming asked, how long do you, have you done voice acting for? Oh, well, uh, like I said, professionally, I've been acting since I was a kid, but um, for voice acting specifically, it's been about four years that I've been doing it exclusively and professionally. Yeah, and it's, uh, I love it. I get to meet cool people all the time. I get to sit in this beautiful, luxurious recording cave. <laughs> it's, it's wonderful. Wait, do you want to play the voiceover mini game? Do I ever? Right, okay, so you know what this is, guys. Um, we voice three different FNAF characters in one round and then three different random characters in the next round and you guys in the comment section say who's won. So, first character we're gonna do today for the FNAF section is... Why am I looking around? <laughs> Because <laughs> you're, you're drawing inspiration from somewhere. <laughs> William Afton. So I'll do it first. Okay, and then I'll imitate you? Or I'll, okay. I'll go more. Okay, let's hear it. Yeah, so I'll just say this something tough one. random. He's the <clears throat> he's the guy who runs everything, right? He's the guy who... who yeah, everybody? He's, okay. the, he's the bad guy. Like, oh, the oh, this is why you want to do the villain. I got it. Okay, great. Uh, yeah. I'm excited. Here we go. Okay. Hello. It's me, William Afton. <laughs> I killed that child last night. Oh, jeez. And I stuffed her into the Freddy model animatronic. It was bittersweet. She died a painful death. Oh, jeez. <laughs> 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 oh great okay so this this cannot be used against me out of context all right here we go now is william afton british or is that just your accent it's british he's he is, british yeah he is british, like a posh british. We go. so i'm going to make it really more of a wilhelmina accent so we'll go we'll go from there we'll bring it we'll bring her right in here uh, i'm sure the doctor will tell you all how accurate my accent is correct yes excellent all right we're getting in here and we're getting very dark I had a wonderful time with scooping last week. Wonderful. We had ice cream. It was beautiful. Mint chocolate chip. Tiger, tiger. Some sort of blood flavored. I believe they called it zesty mint flavored blood. Wonderful. There you go. That's my William Afton. <laughs> oh, right, more fan art coming probably. Yeah. Where we're going to get a female William Afton <laughs> with some mint ice cream with some blood on it. <laughs> oh, God. Wilhelmina Afton, guys. That's right. Confirmed. <laughs> right. Next one you can pick. Oh, I can pick. Okay. Uh, I want to hear your Ballora. She, 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 she speaks sometimes as well, doesn't she? Is someone there? Okay. She does. Very <clears throat> softly. But she's not... It's... it's, it's you've, you've, you've spoken to uh, Michelle. Yes, I have. Yes. Yeah. She's got that beautiful, low and rich voice. Just because... Yeah, right in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Um, is some... No. File. Right. Is someone there? I can hear them creeping through my room. Oh, that's so good. That was actually really good. I think I actually lost in my own challenge. <laughs> that was really good. Is someone there? I can hear you creeping through my room. Yeah, that was great. Good work. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hi, everybody. It's me, Bootleg Funtime Freddy. Kellen sucks. Scott, you should have voice acted me to play Funtime Freddy. <laughs> You're getting really good at that, dude. How much are you doing that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. 
Bon Bon, go get him! My neighbors are totally gonna be like, what's she doing? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm hanging out with YouTubers. Don't mind me. I'm cool. <laughs> oh God. All right. Yeah. Where are Where are we? Um. Okay. What about the pizzeria is open during the day and we're on stage? That's right. And a kid just stole your hat, but we can't go anywhere because we're stuck. Hey, kids! Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. Hopefully, you're having a great day today. <gasps> oh no, Freddy! That kid just took your hat, that little jerk. I bet his name's Andy. What? Someone just stole my hat? <gasps> well, I guess we'll have to take him to the secret room, Bon Bon. Oh, to the scooping room? Yeah, where lots of fun and ice cream galore. Delicious, delicious ice cream. No entrail removal whatsoever. He'll have so much fun in there. Well, I'll have so much fun in there. <laughs> um, I mean, uh, I think, Freddy, this needs to be a lesson in forgiving and forgetting. <laughs> and scene. <laughs> that was good. Again, more more animations, guys. We we give you we're racking up these projects for you to do. <laughs> <laughs> and they're great like that. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Right. Last challenge. Um, three different characters. Anything. Oh, can you do Optimus Prime? No. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, okay, I'll try. Just get um, nice and low. Yes. My name. No, that's, that, that ain't really like him, is it? My name is Optimus Prime. That's, that's sitting more, more like evil. Decepticon, Bill. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying I, to do this for Kellen because I know how much he loves Transformers. Autobots. That's too low. Autobots. Uh. He's he's more Orson. Yeah, oh, Autobots roll out. He's more he's more Orson Welles. He's more more American. Right about in there. Yeah, I can't. I, that was yeah. fine. I tried, but. <laughs> All right, it's your turn. Who you got for me? What about Princess Bubblegum? Okay, okay. So if we take her about in here, that sounds about right, right? So you want to you want to come to a party? Oh, I'm just so bored with everything that's happening on. Oh, Jake, Jake, ah, oh. that's my princess. That's my princess butter bu uh, bubble gum. Yeah. Finn, stop messing with my. No, I can't do it. <laughs> Finn, Finn, stop messing with my experiments. <laughs> Finn, you're messing with my experiments. <laughs> I can't do it. It's okay. It was close. It was right. close. Mo. Right. Mo. Hey. Yeah, that's... there you go. That's about there. Hey. Hey, I'm, I'm Mo. Mo Zizlak. Eh. Mo, Mo Zizlak. Yeah. Now, I sound like the normal, like, chocolate voice from Spongebob. <laughs> I sound like an old lady who smokes 50 cigarettes a day. <laughs> it's you gotta get an H. John Benjamin thing going on. <laughs> I like it. Mouse is lag. It's great. <laughs> I gave you some tough ones. It was totally my bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was such a pleasure chatting with you, Daco. Thank you. I know you have to go to bed because it's late for you. Yeah, it's pretty late for me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, from the UK. So thank you so much. I've had loads of fun. This is probably the longest interview I've done um, so far. Oh, well, I don't shut up. That's why. <laughs> no, because we've had so much fun and we've had our little scripts of doing things. It's been really fun. So, Yay. thank you. Thank you, Jocko. And thank you to everyone who asked questions. It was so, I appreciated it so much. Uh, can, can I do a quick plug for myself? All right, guys. So if you want to check out more of my stuff, you can follow me on Twitter. Sometimes I say funny things. Uh, I also have a podcast called the Royal Canadian Movie Podcast that if you're interested in film, uh, we do do some like really boring kind of films, but we do also a lot of really fun horror movies and like some cool things that, uh, that you wouldn't know existed. Have you ever seen Turbo Kid? Google. You, Jocko. Google, yeah, Google. Get, get a Turbo Kid. You would like Turbo Kid very, very much. It's a Canadian film, so uh, it, go okay. check out. Uh, yeah, so go oh, check that out. Oh, this looks fun. It is. It's, it's very cool and very fun. I think you totally dig cool. it. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so yeah, I do that. You can check that out. At uh, RCM Pod is the uh, the Twitter for that one. So, at Liz Shrimpton, at RCM Pod, come say hello. I'd love to chat with you guys, you know. 
you're all pretty cool and lovely. Those will be in the description, guys, as well. So it's a lot easier to click that link and just follow her. Uh, if you want to come on again, you're more than welcome to. What I'm going to plan to do is get... Oh, oh that face. You're excited. I'm planning to get um, some voice actors all in one call. And we do something cool or something like a game or something together. That would be great. Oh, that sounds like so much fun. I'm so in. <laughs> Amazing. And as always, guys, I'll see you all next week. Leave a like if you enjoyed. I've really enjoyed this interview with Becky. And we'll see you all next time. Bye!